the first book of Moses called Genesis chapter 9 and God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and the fear of you and the dr dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every fowl of the air upon all that move upon the earth and upon all the fishes of the sea into your hand are they delivered every moving thing that lives shall be meat for you even as the green herb i have given you all things but flesh with the life thereof which is the blood thereof shall you not eat and surely your blood of your lives will i require at the hand of every beast i will require it and at the hand of man at the hand of every man's brother will I require the life of man. Whoso sheds man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed, for in the image of God made he man. And you, be fruitful and multiply, bring forth abundantly in the earth, and multiply therein. And God spoke unto Noah and to his sons with him, saying, And I, behold, I establish my covenant with you and your seed after you. And with every living creature that is with you, of the fowl, of the cattle, of every beast of the earth with you, from all that go out of the ark to every beast of the earth. And I will establish my covenant with you. Neither shall all flesh be cut off any more by the waters of a flood. Neither shall there be any more, ne neither shall there any more be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, this is the token of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I do set my bow in the cloud and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth that the rainbow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant which is between me and you and every living creature of flesh, and the waters shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. And the rainbow shall be in the cloud, and I will look upon it that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all the flesh that is upon earth. And God said unto Noah, this is the token of the covenant which I have established between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Ham is the father of Canaan. These are the three sons of Noah, and of them was the whole earth overspread. And Noah began to be a husbandman, and he planted a vineyard. And he drank of the wine, and was drunken, and he was uncovered within his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father, and told his two brethren without. And Shem and Japheth took a garment, and laid it upon both their shoulders, and went backward, and covered the nakedness of their father. And their faces were backward, and they saw not their father's nakedness. And Noah awoke from his wine and knew that his younger son had done to him. And he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants shall he be unto his brethren. And he said, Blessed be the Lord of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. God shall enlarge Japheth, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. And Noah, live after the, Noah lived after the flood, three hundred and fifty years and all the days of Noah were nine hundred and fifty years and he died chapter 10 now these are the generations of the sons of Noah Shem Ham and Japheth and unto them were sons born after the flood the sons of Japheth Gomer Magog Madai Javan Tubal Mashiach and Tyrus and the sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, Riphath, Tagramah, and the sons of Javan, Elishaha, Tershem, Kittim, and Dodadam. 
daughter now. By these were the isles of the Gentiles divided in their lands, every one after his tongue, after their families, in their nations. And the sons of Ham, Cush and Mizoram, Phut and Canaan. And the sons of Cush, Seba, Havilah, Sabata, Ramah, Sebatesha, and the sons of Ramah, Sheba and Dedan. And Cush begot Nimrod, he begot, and he began to be a mighty one in the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Wherefore it is said, even as Nimrod the mighty hunter before the Lord. And the beginning of his kingdom was Babel, and Erech, and Akkad, Kalnehe, and the land of Shinar. Out of that land went forth Ashur and Bild Nineveh, and the city of Robahav and Kala, and Resin, between Nineveh and Kala. The same is a great city. And Mizoram begot Lidam, and Ananim, and Libahim, and Nepatihim, and Pathrusim, Kalithim, out of whom came Philisim and Kaphtorim. And Canaan begot Sidon, his firstborn, and Heth, and the Jebusite, and the Amorite, and the Girgasite, and the Hivatite, and the Archasite, and the Sinatite, and the Arvidite, and the Zimmerite, and the Hamathite, and after were the families of the Canaanites spread abroad. And the border of the Canaanites was from Sidon, as thou comes to Gerar unto Geza, as thou goes unto Sodom, and to Gomorrah, and Ameha, Zibonim, and to Lasha. These are the sons of Ham after their families, after their tongues in their countries, and in their nations. Unto Shem also, the father of all the children of Eber, the brother of Japheth, the elder, even to him were children born. The children of Shem, Elam, Ashur, Arphaxad, Lud, and Aram. And the children of Aram, Uz, Hul, Gither, and Mash. And Arphaxad begot Salah, and Salah begot Eber. And unto Eber were born two sons. The name of one was Peleg, for in his days he was the earth divided, and his brother's name was Joktan. And Joktan begot Almadad, and Shelpeth, and Hazarmaveth, and Jerah, and Hadaram, and Azul, and Dikla, Obal, Abimiel, Sheba, Ophar, Havila, Jokab, and these were the sons of Joktan. And their dwelling was from Mesha, as though goes unto Sphar, a mount of the east. And these were the sons of Shem, after their families, after their tongues, in their lands, after their nations. These are the families of the sons of Noah, after their generations, in their nations, and by these were the nations divided in the earth after the flood. Thank you, Lord. In your loving name we pray. We love you with all our hearts. Thank you, Lord. Amen.